Hello all, huge thanks for watching all the videos of this series. Here we are at video 5 and it's homework time. So I flash this table to you in my second video of this series. I will ask you to pause this video right now and fill the CIPRI options from whatever you have learned from my videos. Once done, we will see how the fill table looks like. Okay, so I see that you are pausing it, which means you have the numbers ready. Let's look at the answers, right? I'll walk through each of these. So for row 1, the band 7 or the 2600 MHz spectrum is being used by the operator and 20 MHz is the channel bandwidth used for that spectrum. His antenna config or MIMO layers is 44R and this is per sector configuration. Now to support one sector and four cross AXCs, the CIPRI option for four cross AXCs with 20 MHz channel bandwidth as seen on a now famous table is option five. So for row two, the band three or the 1800 MHz spectrum is being used by the operator and 15 MHz is the channel bandwidth used for that spectrum. His antenna configs or MIMO layers is 44R and this is per sector config. Now to support one sector and four cross AXCs, the CIPRI option for four cross AXCs with 15 MHz channel bandwidth as seen on a famous table is at least option five. Finally, for row three, the band 29 or the 700 MHz spectrum is being used by the operator and 10 MHz is the channel bandwidth used for that spectrum. His antenna config or MIMO layers is 2T2R and this is per sector config. Now to support one sector and two cross AXCs, the CIPRI option for two cross AXCs with 10 MHz channel bandwidth as seen on a table is option two. Note, if your device doesn't support option two, please use option three. So there you are guys, we should be able to easily plan CIPRI bandwidth for operators after watching these videos. Hope these were helpful to you. In my next video, I will walk through ROE and the front hall capacity planning calculator where we implement radio over Ethernet to carry our CIPRI traffic. Thank you and goodbye.